Hello, welcome to Chocolat One. My name's Beth. I'm an independent designer with Chocotour. I'm back. I was not feeling well yesterday, but um, I'm here today feeling better. I slept forever. I probably slept, I think, like 18 hours yesterday. I must have really needed to sleep. If Hello. you're, whoops, welcome to Let me turn that down. If you're watching, would you please? Um, let me share this really quick. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know you're there. Uh, like and follow this Facebook page and sprinkle this to your other DIY crafty friends, which means code word for S-H-A-R-E. And uh, help me get, um, get my name out there just a little bit more. I have a fun project today. Um, every day. I have a fun project every day. We're going to use this transfer today. It's new in our spring summer catalog. Fishing rules. Bait your own hook. Clean your own fish. Tell your own lies. And we're going to put this on a men's sweatshirt. My husband's birthday is this week. And so I'm going to make a little fun fishing shirt for him. He has to wear long sleeves all year long, no matter what the weather because, hey Barb, hi, thanks for, thanks for stopping in today, because um, he has really sensitive skin. So let's do our usual markup on here. Thank you, Barb, I'm happy to be here today. Hi, Dana, thanks for joining. Um, and this is titled Fishing Rules, so let's get that on here. Love this transfer when I saw it in the catalog. I think it's available still. And a lot of the transfers that have been sold out since the launch are going to be available um, coming up really soon. I am Dana, thank you. I have some kind of a GI bug. You know, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure it wasn't like some kind of food poisoning. And I'm beginning to wonder because uh, I made a big salad. I always wash my vegetables, but I do a quick rinse under the tap water, you know? And <clears throat> I don't know, maybe maybe I have to start doing an immersion in a, a solution of water and white vinegar. I'm not sure. But I'm not eating that salad anymore. Uh, so back, uh, right back on the back of the transfer sheet, just so we know where to put it when we're done. This is a, a new, this is a new transfer, and this is brand new fabric. I haven't, um, hi Lee, thanks for watching. Um, I haven't washed it. I, I don't usually pre-wash my, uh, my uh, fabrics. I just, I have to figure out how I wanna do this. I was thinking maybe I'd just put the rules on the front and the trout and the lures on the back up here, which is what I might do. Um, and th if that's the case, I think what I want to do is cut this. So let me find a ruler. This is not going to be long enough. Let me go get, I have a yardstick over here. I don't normally cut my transfers, but because we're doing ink today, I want to be able to use it without having to stop and wash it. And then I can just I can just line this up um, when I want to go put it on um, a surface or I think it would make a really cute camper um, <clears throat> dish towel for in the camper. Also, so you could just reline it up. So let's do this. Just want to make sure I cut it nice and straight. And make sure that you leave enough of the green vinyl. Oh, this is a, what the heck is all over this? Oh, it's still in a package. Oh, new. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> there we go. All right. No, so I think what we can do is just take our, we can keep the backer sheet intact like we do, and we'll just take our scissors and score it. And then I can lift up 
just part of it, so which side is it probably doesn't matter. But I do want a nice straight line, so this should work. Let's see if we cut all the way through that. Not quite. One more time. You could take an X-Acto knife and do it also. That would work. My husband turned 65 this year on Wednesday. He's so happy about it. <laughs> working for me. All right, where's my exacto knife? There it is. <clears throat> Let's do this. I think my scissors are dull. I don't I, and I don't I don't think we can sharpen our chalk couture scissors cuz they have a coating on them. They work fine for zipping things, but not for this. I really, there we go. All right, that worked fine. All right. Okay. Put this away so I don't fall over it. Okay, I already have the ink mat in the shirt. It's the 18 by 18. If you don't know what that is, let me give you a peek here. It is, looks like this. And um, what they do is they hold your fabric in place as well as um, prevent the ink from going through the other side. Although this is a thicker material, I don't think it would uh, do that. So, there it is. A little discombobulated today. Okay. I like it that it really just smooths out your fabric and holds it down for you too. So let's do fishing rules first. So I kind of like to look at where the, the tag is up here. I figure that's pretty much the center of the shirt. And center my transfer and then just pull it down. That's what I do. Okay. Now for color choices. Let's do, I think I'm gonna do the um, font all in one color, but I don't know if I want white, storm, or silver. Do I even have storm? I don't know, I have almost all my inks, I do have storm. This is gonna look kind of brown, I think. Um, for a guy's shirt, what do you guys think? Brighter and whiter or duller? He's not a very flamboyant person. <laughs> Tammy, how are you? Hi, Becky. Thank you, Tammy. That is so nice of you. Um, what do you guys think? White, Storm, Silver, these three choices. Um, camel, meh. Oh, that's copper. I don't even think we have camel in ink. We have bark. Was that one? Duller. Sprinkled. Oh, um, duller. So not white. So maybe storm. Maybe storm? Okay. Let's try that. Yeah. Let's try this. I think I have about 
three quarters of my inks out here trying to today trying to figure out. I got home a little bit late. I had to run to Walmart, do a few errands. Okay, so with ink, get a wet wipe. Have it ready because I will inevitably, <clears throat> inevitably get ink on my fingers. So keep that handy. Um, remember that ink is permanent, so if you touch somewhere on the shirt that you don't mean for it to go, you can try and get it out with a cold, uh, wet cloth and dab. just keep dabbing it. I've done that mm, pretty well once or twice before, but the idea is to not get it on there to start with. So, and the other thing is, let me stir this up, is that you want to go one direction with it. I think that's pretty important. So I try my best to go one direction. If this shirt had ribs in it, if the, if the fabric had ribs in it, like if they were going up and down, I would, I would pull my ink um, vertical. If the ribs were going horizontal, then I would pull my ink that way to try and, and um, minimize any bleeds that you might get underneath there. Okay, got it stirred. Let's get started here. So I'm going to start at the top and pull above the silk screen and then pull it into the silk screen. So just above. And then we lift up slow and adjust as we go. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> A little, a little shop I stopped at today. The guy asked me, what are you doing today? I said, well, I'm, I'm gonna go and do my live. He says, how do you do that? How do you stand in front of, in front of a camera and just talk to yourself? I said, well, I've got people out there um, that watch and that really helps. And I'll tell you guys, it really does help to see names pop up on the um, screen when I'm doing this. Um, I said, I don't know, I like it. I'm a little bit addicted to it, I think. Doing the whole thing in the same color. The nice thing about uh, fleece material when you're inking is that it absorbs it and it dries pretty quickly. So we'll probably be able to uh, Flip it over and do the other side. Uh, we'll put the trout on the back. I thought that was a beautiful trout that they cut out for this transfer. There's a little lake. We like to fish. There's a little lake um, about 45 minutes north of us. And it's so beautiful and pristine. Kind of tucked back in the mountains. And there's a bald eagle, there's a, a dead, old dead tree right on the edge of the lake, um, kind of by the dock where we fish from. And there's a bald eagle that sits up there and <laughs> waits for you to catch a fish. <laughs> They're pretty, pretty neat birds to see up close like that. All right, we have everything covered. And the same with our paste, you wanna, I have a lot of lines up here, but you wanna try and smooth those, those lines out so that you don't get an extra layer of a line of ink on your transfer when you pull it up. That looks pretty good. That looks really smooth. And that's gonna give you that nice, um, that nice silk screen print that we're looking for. So wipe my fingers off and we'll pull up slow. It looks really good. That was a really good color choice. Thank you for your help with that. And if you see an area that you think it needs a little bit more, just lay it gently back down 
and you can go back over it a little bit. Then you have to check your fingers again though when you do that. Okay, needs extra help. W also, just a little bit. And you'll find a lot of times on the more narrow fonts and prints, um, it can be, inking can be a little bit challenging with that. Sometimes the, it doesn't want to go through. So what I say is give it a, a very light pressure when you're inking that the smaller fonts. Kind of like when we did the dish towel the other day, so the measuring cups had those little lines in it. Okay, that looks really good. Scrape that back in there. Get rid of that. We'll set this over here. Let me find my towel. And I'll spray it. Oh, can't spray it today. <clears throat> Let's grab our second one. Wipe my fingers off again. Let's give this a dry. I always like to, the other thing I like to do is I like to close up my ink so I don't accidentally drag a sleeve through it or something like that. Looks good. I'll hold it up after I dry it just a little bit here. I don't think it'll take too long. Hi, Monique. Thanks for joining, honey. Yeah, it is a great Father's Day gift. Don't you think this would make a cute towel for a camper, though, too, or your RV? I think it would. Especially if you, if you well, if you like to fish, it would. <clears throat> Stephanie, how are you? Thank you guys for joining me today. That makes me feel so good. So with inking, um, I'm not, what you could do is, um, if you're not in a rush, <clears throat> and you don't really want to be in a rush with inking, but if you're not doing, a, let's say you're not doing a live video, um, just let it dry overnight, and then you can heat set it. I could also use the blow dryer. It's just so much louder, but it's a little bit um, higher temperature. We want to dry it till it's, it doesn't come up on my finger when I touch it. Monique, I love seeing pictures of your little farm on Facebook. Your pig is so cute. <laughs> we had a whole flock of turkeys in the in the backyard today. Um, it, it's funny to watch the barn cats. You know, they'll they'll they'll, they'll hunt birds and things, but they will not touch those turkeys. 
But the chickens and the turkeys get along. I don't know, it's the strangest thing. You can kind of see it going from um, shiny to matte. And that's kind of an indicator of that you're getting it where it needs to be. It's a little wet there still. After this is heat set, this will wander and go through the washer and dryer just fine without fading or peeling off like plastic does. So, heat set ink, permanent ink. Alright, I think we're good there. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to come back and heat set the whole thing all at once. Let's pull the ink mat out. We're going to flip it around. I'll hold it up for you to see first. Okay. So there's the front of the shirt. I think it looked, I think it came out really good. Really good. Now let's flip it over to the back and we'll stick our ink mat back in there. You could use a smaller piece. Get it wiggled up to the top there because that's where we're going to be working. One idea, though, is um, depending on what fabric it is, if you wanted to run a, a lint brush over it, that's always a good idea. I didn't think about that before I started. Try and get it really nice and smooth. That's the seam in the front there. That I can feel here, and I don't want to. I want to make sure I don't ink on that. But centered, there's my center right here. Let's get our trout. Isn't that a nice trout? I think that's what that is. Let's put him right up here at the back of the shirt. I don't have to worry about Bill's hair covering it. <laughs> That was mean. <laughs> but funny. <laughs> oh, okay, I think I'm on that seam a little bit. I think where is the seam at? I want the trout right there in the middle. That should work. Oh, I think, yeah, I think I've got enough there. I just want to get it pushed out really good. We're gonna we're gonna put the lures. I can put the lures on the sleeves. I don't know. Because I think it's too much back here. Let me see. Put the lure on the shoulder. One on each side. I don't know. I need help today. I need help figuring things out today. See, I don't know if I could just if I should just keep it all one color. The lures would be pretty, but 
I think I might just keep it all one color. I was gonna do this silver. Um, and then the next project I do will really play with colors on the lures because they're really nice. Silver does come out really nice. Um, it, it, it does have a really nice metallic look to it. <clears throat> I just don't know if guys want metallic on their shirts. You did, Sari? Hi, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, it's a great transfer, that's for sure. What do you guys think about silver on the fish, on the trout? I had help before. Stephanie, was that you that said? Oh, Dana. Dana helped me with the wording. What do you guys think? Should we do the trout the same color, the storm, or should we play with the silver? Because the silver comes out really nice. Oh, wait a second. There's a lag. Bought that transfer to make my brother something good, Sari. I was saying if um, I was thinking in a camper, a, um, um, a towel for the, towel would be good, and then on the other towel you could put the fish in the lures or in the oven mitts. I just don't know if I want this much silver on there or not. Let's see. Nobody, everybody's being shy about this. I don't want to play with the silver. Maybe we'll do a little mixture of both. I don't know. Let me get some stir sticks here. I'm gonna do the silver. I'm gonna be daring and venture out. What somebody say? Do the silver? Thank you, Sari. <laughs> Messing messy technique. Oh, with the silver and the and the um, storm, you think? Oh, you know what I saw today? Let's try this. Yeah, let's do that. Usually the belly is kind of silver on these, but I'm gonna try the, we'll do, I saw this being done today by another designer. Just, I don't wanna get it on those other little, and we'll see if it works. Just wanna make sure I have enough on there. Okay. And then this, we'll do lines of this in there. This might work. Okay, and then you pull it one direction. Be careful not to get that lure that I don't want. Ah, I think this is gonna look great. Thank you for your help. Just enough little sparkle to get those scales going. Okay, let's go back the other way. Let's smooth them off. Got to put this in a tray since we've got two colors in it now. Sometimes with my paste, I'll if I'll give the dominant, I'll put it in the dominant color, but not with ink. Feel like that one little fin doesn't want to fill in with the ink. All right, let's lift our let's lift our minnow up and see what we got. Lift your fingers. Ew. 
He looks great. Oops, let me get the bottom of his belly here a little bit. Oops, one spot up here, I see. So just keep, you know, lift it up slowly. And I didn't see that earlier. That's better. Just that little bit of silver in there with the storm. I love it. It looks great. Okay, I'm going to set this where? On the side of my desk here. I don't know if I'm going to do the, let's dry it. Oh boy. They are so excited when Sue gets home. There we go. Close your inks up. She um, comes and gets a cup of ice to take home with her because we had the, the freezer crushes it, you know, the type we have. And Harley loves ice every day. It's a, he feels like it's a treat. Let me show you our trout. I don't think you guys can see the, uh, maybe you can see the shimmer just a little bit, but it came out really good. And I feel like let me dry this a little bit. I have to look at the lures again and see where we're going to put it. That looks really good on the back, though. Thank you. Oh, thank you, darling. They did a really good job on this transfer, on the detail on that fish. I think because we've kept the words kind of uh, neutral and the fish neutral, we'll probably do the lures the same way. And then I can get more creative with it. Oh, the dish towel. I'm going to do that with colors. Bill we used to like to go, when we lived in California, he would go to the Russian River and Super Bowl Sunday was his favorite time to go steelhead fishing because everybody, nobody was there. And he came home one day and had a beautiful, he had one or two, I don't remember. He had a beautiful, and he's so proud he's holding it up and he took his, pic, he took his picture with it. And my daughter looked at the picture and she said, Where's your wedding ring? He looks down. It was gone. He lost it. Getting that fish out of that river. <laughs> That's an expensive fish. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sari. That was a great idea. And pulling it um, across this way in stripes, um, it gave us little, uh, those little streaks on it. So it looks really cool. I love interactive lives like this where people give me their, their input. It really helps. You guys are awesome. All right, I think we're good there. Now let's look at our lures and see. Uh, 
just don't know. I don't know even I don't know if I even want the lures on there or not. Thought about the sleeves, but eh, not for guys, I don't think. I think I'm gonna leave it. Is it dry enough to heat set? It is. Let's heat set it. I can always <clears throat> turn my heat press on. I can always go back and add the lures to it if I wanted to. Just thinking for a guy guy, maybe not. I'm gonna set this over here. I'm gonna see if I can get, while well, the heat press is heating up, I'm gonna see if I can get some water on these transfers. That's part of the good care. These transfers are reusable eight to 12 times with good care. And that means washing them really quickly after use. So I'm just gonna spray some water on here to keep that ink wet so it doesn't dry in the silk screen. And then I can worry about washing them in the sink. So to heat set, do one side, we'll do this side first. We'll do this side first. I just use a big bath towel. I wish I had another piece of parchment paper in here. Let me see if I do. I keep an extra piece in here, but not today. Just a little worried about the heat on the back. Well, it's up higher, so I think we'll be okay. Okay, so we're almost there. So I set the um, heat press to, what is this material? It's kind of, has kind of a foamy. I'm gonna turn it down to 330. Uh, just because it has a little kind of a foamy, not foamy, but it's not 100% cotton. It's got something else in there. Use your parchment paper, not wax paper. <clears throat> We're gonna heat set this for 30 seconds over the entire design, inside and outside, and then we'll set the back of it too. And then your birthday present is ready. Almost there. Put the lures on the sleeve above the wristbands, one on each arm or wrist. That's a, it's a, it is a long sleeve, Sari. Sari, sorry, Sari. <laughs> you think so? Do you think, you think guys would like that? No, well, we can try it and see. Let's do this. So 30 seconds, I kind of not on all the way. It's a big shirt. I have a big guy. And when I'm moving it around like this, then I hit it I hit it a second time just to make sure it's got at least 30 seconds everywhere. If you don't have a heat press, you can just use your regular iron, set it for the temperature to the uh, whatever the fabric is you're using, and then use these circular motions like this, and you'll, you'll go for three to four minutes. Oh, I didn't touch that. Oh, well, I'm sure that's good enough. at the back and then it, oops, turn it inside out. What's going on here? There we 
go. Floors on top is a great, that is a great idea. That's a great idea, darling. Really good. Okay, let's turn this bad boy inside out. clearance today you guys at my Walmart I don't know if they do it nationwide but their zip up hoodies women's zip up hoodies were um, only um, seven dollars I snag too I like to shop their clearance things we have in our town that I live in other than like the designer shops, you really brought this chance to the fucking skin. <clears throat> oh, thank you, darling. Um, other than the, the downtown Shishi tour shops, we have no shopping here. Our pennies closed down and moved, and so you have to go to Port Lane. And I just, I just don't go there very often. That ink did not go through this fabric at all either. So that's nice. Let's get this side done. Up a little bit. Make sure we're hitting all of it. Good there. Turn it back out. So I'm gonna marinate overnight on the lures if I want them on the sleeves or not. I might. I might come back and do that tomorrow. Um, but I squirted the transfer down, so I'm not gonna do it tonight. But this. But this is good. I like it. The, and the fish on the back, the trout on the back, looks really good. The colors are really good. So that was um, Storm that we used. And it always, Storm always comes out an interesting color depending on the color of the surface that you're putting it on. Because it almost looks taupey to me. And then with the silver, and the storm on the back of the fish. I don't know if you can see the, you can see it a little bit like on his fins. You can see some of the shimmer in there. So I think it's just perfect. So, okay, let me set this aside and I'll grab those transfers and start cleaning those. So, turn this off. Get rid of my pressing towel and <laughs> Get my cleaning towel out over here. Grab a board eraser and get it wet. I squirted those on top of each other because I ran out of room. Just wash this off. I like, I think ink cleans up really fast. So this is a board eraser. It's just a, a, a I usually cut them in half. This one just didn't get cut in half for some reason. Like a sponge almost. You could use a soft sponge. Some people have asked me about using the, like the Mr. Clean White. Um, what are those called? The, um, I don't use them, so. Um, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about though. Um, the only thing 
I've heard about that is that um, some of those or a lot of them have a chemical in them and you wouldn't want to put that on your transfer. But we have some more ideas for this transfer. So, you know, you these are an investment. You want to get your money's worth out of them. They're reusable eight to 12 times. So take good care of them. It just takes a second. And then, and then your whole craft, your cleanup, and everything is done all, all done for you. You've had your relaxing time by yourself, minus the dogs barking. <laughs> I had to wait for my husband to stop cussing. I said, are you done? Because I'm gonna go do my live now. Nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> And then what I do do is take these to my sink and, and rinse them out, you know, squish them out. Grab a fuzzing cloth and use the microfiber side. So you will have a little bit of that shimmer left on the uh, vinyl part of your transfer. Not a big deal. I take the um, micro or the um, Mm -mm. the Lysol wipe, I like to wipe them off with that, and I feel like that takes off some of that shimmer. It's not a big deal as long as you have it cleaned out of your silk screen. And it doesn't seem to, it doesn't seem to stick in the silk screen itself. So this is good to go back on the backer sheet. Let's do the same thing over here. Some folks have said not to use the, um, I think, I've been with Chalk Couture a year and a half, almost almost two years, I guess, and um, they used to always say to clean with these afterwards. Now there's, some people say don't do it. Um, I do it, and I have, um, I have really good luck with my transfers. So, I guess, you know, you gotta follow, do what you think is right for you. All right, where are our backer sheets? Oh, here it is. Stuck to my ink mat. So we wrote back on the back and put the shiny side. And I'm just gonna line this up on here. And I would recommend putting it on your, after you've cleaned it, um, I don't like to leave them to air dry. I used to do that, but I don't, I feel like you lose some of your adhesive quality of your transfer with that. So I stick them back on here right afterwards. Okay. We will think about the lures on the sleeve for tomorrow, but there's my craft. I made a birthday present in, what time is it? Uh, 48 minutes, so, and cleanup is all done too. So pretty good, pretty good. Thank you guys for joining me. If you have questions about Chalk Couture, let me know. A really great way to experience Chalk Couture is by joining Club Couture. It's a monthly subscription. It's $19.99 a month, um, plus tax. Uh, shipping is free on that, and then every month, uh, Chalk Couture has some kind of an, um, um, a perk for you. Uh, this month you, there's a sea size transfer with Easter bunnies on it, or spring bunnies I think they are. You get that half off so it's $12.49. Um, so that's this month and then shipping on anything else you buy is um, a flat rate of $4.95 US. So that's a fun way to experience Chalk Couture. And always if you ever have any questions, just reach out to me. I'm happy to answer them. I love what I do, and I like helping other people um, have fun doing it too. So until we talk and talk again, take good care. Enjoy the rest of your evening.